Hey retailers, with so many platforms now available for your social media marketing, where do you think the best place is to start or to focus most of your resources? Sure, Snapchat seems to be the bell of the ball these days, but do experts think it's the best place to focus their social media marketing? My name is Lyle Stevens. I'm co-founder and CEO of a company called Maverick. Maverick helps retailers understand which social networks are most useful to them based on their current customer base and social media following. Now, there are a ton of factors that go into choosing the best platform but you might be surprised what those at Maverick told retailers at our NG Omnichannel Summit is most always the number one first and best choice. Facebook is always the number one. Twitter and Instagram are the two that are kind of battling out for the number two spot in the eyes of our customers, and then Pinterest and Snapchat are battling out for like the number three spot. So it varies depending on whether you're talking to a retail brand or CPG brand, but typically Facebook's always number one, and then the other ones are always battling it out. Surprising? Perhaps the reason is that while Snapchat was ranked in the top 10 of most downloaded apps in over 100 countries worldwide, with users watching an estimated 8 billion videos each day, it still actually has one important issue that might prove problematic to measuring its real influential value. A key part of being an influencer is actually being able to validate that you are an influencer. You can see the actual results of their influence. In Snapchat, it's really hard to measure that result downstream. You're, I'm watching a video, but there's no way for me to attribute my downstream purchase to watching that video. And on top of that, Snapchat doesn't have out-of-the-box reporting that a lot of the other platforms have. So marketers could get access to their data via an API, but they have to build their own reporting and analytics solution against that API, which costs a lot of money. So Instagram and Facebook and, and the other social networks have a lot of out-of-the-box reporting techniques that puts them above Snapchat in that capacity.